In this video, you'll see how to manage the life cycle of AWS resources from Jira Service Desk, JSD. When using the AWS Service Management Connector for Jira Service Desk, you can configure AWS Systems Manager automation documents to create Jira issues in response to problems with AWS resources, set up config rules to call the automation document, and remediate common AWS issues natively in JSD. The AWS Service Management Connector for Jira Service Desk allows end users to provision, manage, and operate AWS resources natively via Jira Service Desk from Atlassian. To find the AWS supplied connector and details on how to install it, please go to the Atlassian Marketplace. Let's begin with a quick review of how end users can provision AWS resources from JSD once you've configured the connector. From the JSD Customer Portal, Users can request AWS products in the same way they submit other requests. Let's fill out the form. Type in a summary of the request, and then select one of the AWS products that has been configured in the AWS Service Catalog. In this case, we'll request an Amazon Simple Storage Service, Amazon S3, bucket. Next, enter a name for the provisioned AWS product. For the purposes of this example, let's also define a custom tag key. When all the necessary parameters are filled in, submit the request to create the resource. In this case, provisioning for the S3 bucket started automatically. Depending on how your organization configures JSD, you can also use a workflow to route requests to an approver for review before resources are provisioned. As you can see, the provision product details status has changed to available, and the product is finished provisioning. Let's navigate to the S3 Management Console to confirm this. Here is the bucket we just provisioned, ready for use. Now that we've reviewed how users provision AWS resources from JSD, let's see how you can manage the full lifecycle of provisioned AWS products through Jira Service Desk. This AWS online documentation provides detailed information about IT lifecycle management using the AWS Service Management Connector for Jira Service Desk. The documentation includes a link to an AWS Systems Manager automation document we can use to create a Jira issue with suggested remediation action. Let's download the automation document and set it up in our AWS account according to the directions on this page. For the purposes of this demonstration, let's skip the installation steps and move on. Once the automation document has been installed, you can use it as you would any other Systems Manager automation document. Let's navigate to AWS Systems Manager and find it. This document automatically creates a JIRA issue from AWS with the field set to have a linked AWS resource and up to three suggested remediation documents. Scroll down to review the input parameters that are needed for this document. The values for these parameters will be passed to this document by an AWS config rule. The Python script at the bottom of the screen was added as part of this automation document setup. The second step in setting up the lifestyle management workflow is creating an AWS config rule that calls this automation document. Let's navigate to the AWS config dashboard and take a look at the rules. For the purposes of this example, an AWS config rule to monitor the status of our S3 buckets has already been set up. Let's drill down to examine it more closely. This rule checks to ensure that our S3 buckets do not allow public read access. If a bucket is found to be non-compliant, then it will trigger the automation document, which will create a new issue in JSD. All the parameters required by the automation document to create the issue in JSD were specified when this AWS config rule was set up to include a remediation action. Let's take a look at the resources in scope. As you can see, right now, all resources are compliant. To test the rule, let's return to the S3 Management Console and make the bucket we provisioned in JSD publicly readable. Select the Permissions tab, and then select the Access Control List tab. Scroll down. Under Public Access, select Everyone. Next, enable access to List Objects and Read bucket permissions. A warning lets us know this bucket will have public read access if we proceed. Save the changes. Now let's return to the AWS config console to check the rules compliance.
As expected, the bucket now shows as non-compliant. Let's return to Jira Service Desk. Notice that a new issue has been automatically submitted by AWS that an S3 bucket is non-compliant. Click on the issue to get more details. The description text here explains that AWS Config detected that an S3 bucket is publicly accessible, which is non-compliant with the current AWS Config rule. Be sure to note the resource name in order to remediate the issue. In this case, AWS Config Linked Resources was enabled in the AWS Service Management Connector for Jira Service Desk, so you can see additional resource information on the S3 bucket here. The automation document for this issue provides a suggested remediation, which can be applied right from here. The ability to resolve common issues natively in JSD saves IT managers from having to sign into AWS and spend time locating the resource and determining what action to take. In this case, the remediation disables public read and write access on the S3 bucket. Enter the S3 bucket name noted earlier and then click Create to execute the automation document. Once the document is executed, a separate issue is added to JSD for tracking purposes, indicating the action taken. Let's drill down. As you can see, it already has a status of completed. Scroll down to review the details of the action taken. Let's return to the S3 Management Console to confirm that the remediation action has been executed. Notice that access to the bucket is once again not public. Let's take a look at the AWS Config Console. The bucket is now listed as compliant and the status field notes that the remediation action was executed successfully. You've just seen how to automate IT lifecycle management for AWS resources from Jira Service Desk. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.